Hi, my name is Dr Kate Ringham. I'm the Programme Lead in Applied Accounting in Oxford Brookes Business School at Oxford Brookes University. And this is the first part of two videos um, that are helping you to understand how to use business and accounting models uh, within your research report, which is part of your research and analysis project for the BSc Applied Accounting. So thinking about how do we use models to help us with our research? Well, we use models or frameworks, um, they're sort of used interchangeably those terms, but we use a model or a framework to help us identify what the theoretical position might be, to help us identify um, what things should or could look like, so that when we collect data, about our organisation or our research question, we're able to make that evaluation. So it provides us with information to enable us uh, to make an evaluation. And in terms of the accountancy and business models, they feature in two of the assessment criteria. Um, now the assessment criteria are how we mark your research uh, report and there are two sections understanding of accountancy business models and the application of accountancy and business models um, that are relevant for the research report. You can find out more about the assessment criteria in the information pack. It's downloadable from the ACCA website or Oxford Brookes University website. Uh, please do look at the assessment criteria because it really does help you make sure that the work you submit is going to be of a past standard. So when we're thinking about uh, choosing um, the models or theories so that we can demonstrate that understanding and application, we need to think about the topic that we are uh, working on. Um, and when you're thinking about the topic, um, and selecting one of the 20 topics that appear in the information pack, think about which area of your ACCA syllabus you are working in. So is it the area of sort of management accounting? Or are we looking at risk or governance? Are we looking at strategy? Um, because once you've identified the area of the syllabus, you might be able to go back to those um, the, the materials that you use to study that part of the syllabus to identify the model or the framework or the theory um, from your ACCA studies. Um, and just in case you don't have your ACCA study texts available, um, there is a resource that is available online. It's the Kaplan Financial Knowledge Bank. Now this is an open access um, resource that means it's free to use and it's a summary and bringing together of the materials that are used in Kaplan study texts themselves. Um, if you look on, on that particular website you'll see that information has been gathered together under different headings so management accounting, strategy, risk, ethics and governance and if you click through you'll be able to identify materials that have been used in the study texts and you'll find various models um, within there. And you're obviously looking to identify the model um, or theory or models and theories that are relevant to the topic that you are actually um, investigating and researching. So this, um, this is the assessment criteria for understanding of accountancy and business models. Um, as it appears in the information pack. And so you can see here, we are very transparent about what you need to do to demonstrate that you have met a path criteria at grade A or B or C, or what the fail criteria are. Um, and if your work is, is not of a path standard, then it will have um, failed to meet the uh, criteria and you can see there we're very clear as to what we would grade as a fail. 
so as I mentioned, really important that you look at uh, the assessment criteria as you are preparing your research report for submission. I would suggest reading the research at the begin, re uh, reading the assessment criteria at the beginning of your journey um, as you're working on the research report and immediately prior to submission. And so when we think about the um, the fail criteria, um, reasons why students would fail in this area is that they have um, limited or no explanation of why their model is suitable, is the advantages of using that model or theory, and no, dis no discussion of the limitations of that model or theory. So the fact that we're actually asking you to identify the advantages or the limitations of using a particular model or theory is that's because we're asking you to evaluate the model or theory you're, you're using. And this is really linking through to um, the concept of critical thinking. And one of those key graduate skills of being able to um, think critically about why you're d using a particular framework or model. So that evaluation skill, the ability to be able to evaluate the information you're providing um, is important when you're selecting the model the, and the frameworks that you're using. So when you're thinking about justification of the model, think about why is it a good idea to use this model and what are the disadvantages or limitations of this model. Another reason why people will fail in this area is that they have cut and pasted material from other sources. So if you cut and paste um, the material, you know, the advantages and disadvantages of a particular model from another source and have not paraphrased that, then, and by paraphrasing, I mean written that in your own words, then you have not demonstrated understanding. All you've done is copy somebody else's version of what's good or bad about the model. So paraphrasing is really important. Um, because it does demonstrate you understand. Um, there is a, a video on paraphrasing and why we use paraphrasing, so please do have a look at that. Subscribe to the channel so that you can um, make sure you stay up to date. In terms of the PRAS criteria, well at grade C you've identified appropriate models and frameworks and you have evaluated those. You've given them the, the advantages and disadvantages. But this might be quite generalised. Um, to make a, your work of grade A standard, then your justification of the choice of your model or your framework is clearly linked to your topic or organisation. You're beginning to think about why that particular model or framework works in the context of your organisation. So your justification is much more specific to your research question, your research topic and the organisation uh, that you're working in, rather than being just a little bit more generalised, um, the general advantages and disadvantages. That's the difference between the grade A and the grade C. So next steps, um, maybe go and look for the models, have a look at that website, the Kaplan Knowledge Bank. Please do watch the second part of this uh, video on using models and theories.